Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo. Baby Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Ellen Taylor will win. She's riding the new horse, Oliver Champion Flo. It's one of her babies for Baby Flo. For low to the Flo. Hush money. Hush money. Hush money. Hush money. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, Texas is super Texas right now, meaning that we've basically had all four seasons in one day. So we are shooting in the office. Now, this week as we prepare for the BFA, um, it is like crunch time. So I wanna talk about, one, I'm gonna take you guys through some jackpots. And I stole Cody's horse to make a run so that he's ready for her comeback. If you don't know what happened to Cody, make sure to check it out in some previous vlogs. But she is minutes away from a comeback, and so I want to make sure that her horse is tuned and ready for her. So you're going to see Mojo in this vlog, Lolo, Hush Money, and Smoke Show. <laughs> the background acoustics are brought to you by Brand Alexander McRae. So I have decided to be a full-fledged horse girl. And what that means is like, I enjoy the grooming process and the cleaning process as much or more as the competitive process. So for me to really, really fall in love with the sport again and not feel the all-consuming weight of accomplishing the next thing and to just enjoy the moment, which is very like mindful mindset. Um, I'm getting super down with like cleaning the horses and being a part of like grooming everything and giving them a bath before we leave and making sure they have a tail bag on. Smoke Show's got a ridiculous tail. So I'm just really into it. Um, and I just think like, look good, feel good, do good. I want people to recognize how much work everybody puts into these horses so that when they come out of the program, they look amazing. And if I just take away everybody's hard work by hauling my horse looking crummy, um, I just feel like it's doing a disservice to all the people that do so much hard work um, to make these horses look amazing. So um, I spend a lot of money on feed and supplements just like everybody else does. And I want people to see these things. And when they back off the trailer, be like, ooh, ooh. So um, yeah, that's part of my just like enjoying the process. I highly recommend it. And it almost helps me have a moment to like visualize and meditate. And then also I just been using the term horse girl a lot. Like I just want to be a horse girl. I want to braid some tails, braid some manes. I want to match all my tack together. Um, and I just feel myself falling really in love with it. Um, I'm on like a postpartum journey. So coming from, you know, feeling like I'll never, my body will never be the same and I'll never ride the same again to like, you know, I want matching leg wraps and I want matching outfit. And I want a matching hat and I want all the things and like dress up and let myself enjoy every single part of this really cool sport and um, not care what anybody thinks because that's probably the reason you follow me in the first place is because that's been my whole journey is I spray painted my pants when I couldn't afford something cooler and my friends helped to make like manufacture them so that I would have these cool hats and this cool stuff and now to have a tack brand and a clothing brand and um, basically my own brand of horses and stallion and all these things I just want to enjoy every bit of it win lose or draw I want to win but I want to enjoy every piece of it because this sport has a lot more downhill spirals than um, peaks that you get to cheer on top of so anyway that's the tea on the grooming and why I'm so obsessed with it right now she's rolled in every possible poop pile that there could be and there was only one like her stall is kept perfectly and she was tied out for most of the day with the horseshoer getting her nails did and still this is how she this is what happened so contrary to like what you should do and like wash them completely off her mane won't be dry enough for my tape to stick because I use electrical tape and so I'm gonna braid her mane down and then We'll try to use tiger's tongue and then we'll use, and then we'll bathe her off as the last ditch effort. But can you, can you get me like five more pieces of that? Thank you. I know. Can you believe it? Just some good old whole foods. Hey. <sighs> ah, 
I am not allergic to sorrel. I am not allergic to sorrel. I have to show you guys what tiger's tongue is. So, I'm going to show you. Tiger's tongue. This is like rough material and it kind of is in place of a curry comb and it like just kind of brings the oils to the top of the skin and makes them really pretty. A lot of racehorse people, when you look up um, like and you watch them groom get ready for a race, they aggressively rub their horses down like this to bring blood to the surface of the skin, which is super cool. And whenever we aren't running late, which we're not today, but whenever we're not running late to someplace, we're gonna start doing this before we ride. Before we run, when we have like an excess of time, we're gonna do this. This is making somebody cringe that actually like show clips horses. I'm just, I'm just making her cute as I can. I would take your class. If you have a grooming class 101, drop that link, sis, I'll take it. But for now, you know, we're just trying to not look homeless. We're trying to look like we, uh, it's Greenville and I'm showing Terrell. up with my A game. It's actually Terrell. Terrell, uh, hey. Terrell. Look good, feel good, do good, my friend. Look good, feel good, do good. I'm so sick of driving green though. Well, get unsick of it because we're in there tomorrow. <laughs> Alex just said he's sick of driving to Greenville. Hey, we're up at Greenville tomorrow. I can't hear you screaming in my ear. Perfect. Hey, come on, man. Hey. Come on, man. I don't know if you guys saw anything on my horse's head that's pretty interesting, but coming soon. Kind of a big deal, kind of a big deal. This is like a slight flex here. Some people are gonna be like, yeah, totally, I totally get that. Copper for inflammation, yeah. And then some people are gonna be like, that doesn't do anything. But in my mind, and if you read the book, Quantum Physicists Don't Get Fat or Do Not Fail, or there's like a whole series of them, it says basically whatever you believe to be true is true. And I believe that this copper is gonna help facilitate fast runs. These are fast money nails. These are rose gold, if you will. I was just saying, you know, when people ask us all the time, like, how do you keep your horses so shiny and so clean and blah, 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 like effort and a lot of it, <laughs> a lot of it. Same when we get the questions in the summer of like, how do you keep your foundation on and not running? It's like a whole lot of effort, effort. So. This week we are gonna to go to the Terrell jackpot and go exhibition some colts and also make a run on Hush Money and Lolo. I'm getting them ready because Lolo has got some pro rodeos to run at and Hush Money, I need to get the rust off of her. She lives in the pasture um, with her aunties and I don't even bring her up. I haven't even been like hardcore conditioning her because she long trots herself like miles and miles a day out in the pasture playing. So I'm gonna bring her up and do some light tuning and then take her to this jackpot. So let's watch Smoke Show in her exhibition as she gets ready for the BFA. Check it out. Now, Smoke Show has been held over for the four-year-old and five-year-old fraternities. I'm really excited. I have made the executive decision to turn L out of the juvenile fraternity, which is the three-year-old fraternity, um, simply because I feel like she's gonna make a way nicer four and five-year-old, and I don't wanna burn up one year of eligibility just for my own personal gain. So I'm gonna hold her back. I want my horses to last for a decade or more, and trust me, there are some three-year-olds that are gonna do amazing at the juvenile, they're gonna have a really long career. But for her, I feel like if I push that one extra little step, I'm gonna cost myself a year and put myself back, and it's just not worth it. So, Smoke Show is gonna be my main fraternity horse in the four-year-old fraternity, so check out her exhibition right here.
That was about as pretty as I could ask for. Now it's time to just kind of take it easy, go to one more jackpot this week, and then I'm gonna give her a big break before going into the BFA fraternity in Oklahoma City. Now it's time for my open run on Lolo. Yeah, go, go. Nice. Yeah. All right, well, she was a 16.3. I'm super excited about that. She was very close to some NFR horses that ran tonight, so I'm super excited and felt really awesome. I know what I need to work on, but for the most part, um, Lolo just needs a little bit of conditioning and a few more runs. Now it's time for me to jump on Hush Money and go check out and see how this horse has been sitting in the pasture feels she's conditioned for this run she's in shape for this run so sitting in the pasture is more of a term of just her being out enjoying life um hush money is a stall weaver so pasture life is for her and she's thriving we're really excited about mega ranch and um these blessings that we've been able to have this year so that she can have a really really cool journey so let's see how no exhibitions and no major tune-ups go Good. Yeah, go. All right, we got a little bit by our first barrel, but hush money overall, 16.5. We know we know where we can find those two tenths right behind that first barrel. So next time is gonna be even faster, but she felt great. I think Pasture Life is doing her well, so I'm really excited. Who is your favorite? Um, I think my MVP of the night would be Smoke Show. So now it's time for us to go to the next jackpot tomorrow. Haul with us to Greenville. You ain't no fool. You ain't no fool. Here, you just keep eating that. Keep eating that. Put your halter on ghetto. And we'll wait. This is ridiculous. Hi, Mom. Yeah, so we're just going to keep that method up because if it's gonna work, we're just gonna keep rolling with it. Chewy even loves the vibe. Like she never comes out here. Hi, our little perfect prince. Hi. Hey. Is he muddy? Yeah, but did he walk right up to us? Yes. He says, I hate it. He hates this. Hates bath time. He's a webble boy. A rebel without a cause. You guys can hear the background but it is so rainy here i'm talking cats and dogs right now so crazy all right it's time to go to the greenville jackpot i'm going to exhibition smoke show one more time now i've had two back-to-back -back runs the reason i wanted to do two back-to-back -back kind of high pressure runs was just to gauge her temperature make sure that she's 
Make sure that she's okay going into several runs at the BFA. See if I need to prepare for anything. At the BFA, she will have a day off in between runs, but I just want to see what two runs back to back look like. I've never done that before. So here is Smoke Show's exhibition. Well, we got by the first, but I didn't go in and work her slow first. I came from the back, went straight through. Listen, I'm a mom on duty right now, and my baby is making a lot of noise. It's the cutest thing ever. He's crawling, he's climbing, he's teething, he's doing all the things. And he's all boy, so he's really loud. Okay, smoke show was really amazing. Missed the first, but then I know how to better prepare when she's had a day off. I think I'm gonna know to really look out and give her a bigger cue for that first barrel. But now it is time for me to run Cody's Mount Mojo. She makes it look really easy. As you guys can see, I am doing the things to make sure I can ride him half as good as she can. So here we go. All right, 15.079, me and Mojo tie for fourth place in an incredibly salty show where the arena record was broken. So very excited about running that 15.0. Now it's time for Hush Money. If she's anywhere close to that smoke and run on Mojo, I'm gonna be so excited. All right, a little by the first, and she ran a 15.1. I am thrilled, I'm so excited. I had to be just a little bit more aggressive to ask her to really rock and roll um, because she is really, really quiet coming in the gate, which I love, all of our horses are. Um, but for her, if she's not just a little bit bouncy, she kind of thinks she's just gonna go slow. Um, so I'm really excited that she walked in there, ran hard, and really worked. I'll get the first barrel timing back, but for me, I'm super excited. I believe she was seventh in the 1D um, at a really salty race, so we're gonna take it. I'm so pumped. We have some more rodeos that are gonna come up in the very next vlog, but today, the coolest thing I wanna show you guys are the flares that are about to come out. Ranch Dress and what I'm doing behind this desk and what everybody else is doing is preparing for the next launch. And you guys, the next set of flares coming out are so freaking amazing. So I want you guys to be sure to check them out. I have to say that the fast lane pair are by far my favorite and I can't wait to style those to go to a rodeo and to go just wear because I'm so excited to throw on an oversized tee. We have the coolest oversized tees coming. I can't wait to show you guys. No preview of those yet because I'll show you ne next week of what's coming down the line. But that's what we've got cooking, you guys. I hope that you guys are ready for a very special treat next week. We're not gonna be secretive about it. So be sure to check out my Instagram stories to see what's coming that I'm training for coming up very soon. That's it for today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed Brand in the background as he sang a little song for this entire vlog. As always, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and ding that notification bell so that you can be one of the first people to see the brand new vlogs and the brand new stuff. As always, you guys, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.